Boston. What? <laughs> Truth or dare? All right, dare. <laughs> I dare you to watch Truth or Dare and review it on Austin the Artist Reviews. Fuck. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh, okay, well... First movie review... Fuck my life. Truth or dare... Um... God damn it, this pro- this actually is... This is the, the movie equivalent of Tana Turns 21. Um... But without Jake Paul. So, there's that. Um... This movie was made by Blumhouse. Fuck you, Blumhouse. Um... I guess I guess we should just get started. Uh, what's up, my artist? I I I, I told I, I'm so like done with this movie. I didn't even do my fucking intro. But l look at that! Look at that! I I watched this back when it came out, and it sucked. Yeah, I put myself in the torture again to to refresh my mind to actually review this this shithole of a movie. So, there's that. Uh, okay, well, we start off. We start off with a YouTube video starting off with Lucy Hale, which is fucking. I, I, I get. She's the main chick of the movie. I don't like her. I don't like her as an actress sucks as an actress she sucks as a fucking main character she she sucks at everything when it comes to this fucking movie um the pain of watching her like it's just like like fuck and she's the main fucking character god fucking damn it dude like, Jesus Christ. But, I digress. Start off her doing a YouTube video on Habitat for Humanity. This bitch is in, like, not even in college. She's not doing fucking Habitat for Humanity. I don't give a shit what you say. I don't give a shit. I really fucking don't. Like, I... <laughs> that, that, that is so unconvincing. So stupid. And idiotic. But, I digress. So. 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 Then, her friend comes out. And her friend... Is named Marky. Played by Violet Bean. I'm not joking. Her name in the movie is Marky. And her actual name is Violet Bean. I mean, she looks like she's related to Mr. Bean. But I don't care. <laughs> because she's a bitch in this movie. Because the first thing that she fucking does. Is unsigns up. Lucy Hale for Habitat for Humanity and says she has shingles because she wants Lucy Hale to come on <laughs> she wants Lucy Hale to fucking go on spring break with her and that's why she says that Lucy Hale has shingles what the fuck that is beyond fucked up and stupid why but I digress. And then, and then, and she fucking. Her boyfriend, she meets her, up with her boyfriend, Marky does. 
because Lucy Hale's the fucking dumbass single girl that is falling for for uh, Marky's boyfriend, which is Tyler Posey. I don't give a shit of what his name is in this movie. Just like I don't give a shit what Lucy Hale's name is in this movie. Because they both suck at acting. So I'm just gonna name their fucking full names. At least Marky, or Violet Bean, is actually a fucking good good actress and makes me think that she's a bitch. Because she is one. She pro she's probably a bitch in real life, to be completely fucking honest. But, I digress. Now, they all hang out with their friends and shit. They hang out with their their gay Asian Asian friend. Can't remember his name. I, I for the life of me. They hang out with their drunk friend. Drunk friend who was in Evil Dead 2013. There's actually a couple people in Evil Dead 2013 that was in this fucking movie. Sadly, but you know they're 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 fucking careers obviously went downhill but fucking so there's a drunk bitch there's Lucy Hale Marky Marky's boyfriend Tyler Posey um fucking uh the gay Asian character who, oh by the way his, his whole conflict is his cops a homophobic like his dad's a hom homophobic dad that or cop what the fuck ever it's a, it doesn't it's stupid it's stupid i don't even care i don't even care now and they're also hanging out and the drunk junk has a boyfriend who who fakes being a doctor to sell prescriptions to underage kids and shit which is beyond fucked up why would you even do that? That's just stupid and dumb and stupid. It's idiotic and fucking stupid. Now, they go to Mexico because that's where you fucking go in, in, on spring break because it's legal to drink there. Woohoo. They go to Mexico and they're having fun and Marky's being a piece of shit and cheating on Tyler Posey. Because, of course, she is. Uh, it's a PG-13 horror movie. You gotta have some conflict. Oh, whoa. F fuck. Um. Then, then, goddamn. <laughs> then, they fu Like, Lucy Hale meets this guy at the bar. Who was the brother in, in Evil Dead 2013. Um, and fucking, <laughs> oh my god, he's already looks sketchy, and sounds sketchy, but Lucy Hale is dumb as fuck, so, she's like, oh, okay, you seem like a nice guy, let's go, so, <laughs> then Lucy Hale sits there and takes her friends, and this guy, this guy, uh, who, fuck, his name, I'm trying to think what his name is, I, I don't have the energy to go to fucking IMDB right now, I, I just don't, uh, but, fucking, he goes up there, and, oh, his name's Sean, his name's Sean, uh, that's what, his, Sean goes up, up to a fucking, uh, burial ground, or ancient burial ground, and takes all these drunk fucking high schoolers, including Lucy Hill, and, well, basically our main characters in the movie. Oh, and then this one guy shows up named Ronnie, and he's a total dipshit, and he, he's, he's there too, he's a part of the body count, because that's all this movie is, they just have characters to be dumb, so they're, they have a body count. Um, can they start playing Truth or Dare because Sean acts creepy and pretty sketchy about playing because they're, they're thinking about playing fucking, I don't know, some, some other stupid fucking game that no teenager plays. I doubt anybody plays Truth or Dare anymore, to be completely fucking honest. But, then again, they, they all 
play and fucking they're dumb with it. There's one scene where fucking Lucy Hale and the drunk chick make out and it's not for long because it's PG-13 and you can't have that because PG-13, they want the embryos to fucking watch this movie. So, you know, it's like, whatever. But then it was Sh it's Sean's turn and he gets told the truth. And he tells the truth that he led them up there because he was in a tr game of truth to dare with his friends. And if you don't complete the dare or the truth, you die. So, he just sucked all of those people into it. Woohoo, and that is the synopsis of the fucking movie. Because now, we gotta fucking... Now we fucking got this to deal with. The whole fucking movie. Keep in mind, I've only mentioned the first 15 fucking minutes. That is the first 15 minutes of an hour and 41 minute movie. That is the first 15 minutes. Now, they go home, act like everything is fine, whatever, and then, and then, Lucy Hale and Marky get into a fight because Lucy Hale gets the truth or dare thing. Oh, by the way, by the way, just if you didn't see the fucking thumbnail for this fucking video, the fucking. The scary part of the movie, when the people say truth or dare, legit looks like something you could do in Photoshop! <sighs> like, oh my fucking god. It looks like the Among Us sus meme. That's how fucking bad it looks like. That is, it's, it's fucking awful. <sighs> but, I digress. Now, we get on to, basically, Lucy Hale says truth and announces that Marky's been cheating on Tyler Posey. Do I care? No. But the movie seems to care. So, Marky gets mad at fucking Lucy Hale. Oh, I, I cheated on my boyfriend, but it doesn't matter because I'm a good person. Now you fucking are. I don't give a shit. Like her whole fucking character. Mar Marky's whole character in this movie is I cheated on my boyfriend. I love my boyfriend, though. I hate you, Lucy Hale. I love you, Lucy Hale. My dad died. That's legit. The ent her entire fucking care. Oh, it, besides the fact of being a fucking asshole the entire movie. So, that's her entire character. So there is legit, in this movie, there is three fights between Marky and Lucy Hale. And I don't give a shit about any of them. Because they keep doing the same shit. You know, <laughs> I might as well, re legit, the rest of this movie, besides the fights and everything, let me get to the kills first. I might as well just get to the kills. So, the first kill is r the, the Ronnie guy. He sits there, and he... <sighs> he gets dared. To, well, he, sa he says dare, he gets asked for the dare, and he gets dared to, say, to pull out his dick because he, he's he's the fucking jock character so he agrees to do it and since nobody even because when people are saying truth or dare to him that's not what's actually happening that's what they're seeing in their fucking mind or whatever that's basically what it is so all the fucking scary shit that's supposed to happen in this movie doesn't really like it's hard to explain. It doesn't really fucking happen. It only happens in their minds, and they they comprehend it, so they do it. And besides, like when they don't do it, when they don't do it, they die. They they get possessed and die. So that that's basically what it fucking is. So Ronnie is about to do do it, but because it's a PG-13 movie, he can't do that. He chickens out. He gets all fucking Among Us sus on us, and then. He slips off a pool table 
and cracks his neck on the other pool table. Woohoo! Wonderful. This movie fucking sucks. But then, then we have the next kill, which is the doctor kid that wants that sells prescriptions to fucking middle schoolers, and he sits there and goes to his his uh, medical school. He gets a medical school application, so he goes there and gets an interview, and he has this pen that says doctor whatever the fuck his name is, because I can't remember, and he sticks it in his eye, and then hits his head on the wall, sticking the pin further into him, and that's how he dies. Uh, he, he picked truth, by the way, and they said to, to tell them that what, or tell him why he sells prescriptions, and that he didn't, so he died. Woohoo. Uh, I, I, I don't care. Then, then, we have the the drunk chick who sits there, and it's really fucking stupid because she completes her dare. She completes her dare, but this is this is what happens. So she gets dared to drink an entire bottle of vodka while scaling the roof of their house. Or her house. And they all live in the same fucking house for some goddamn reason. But he, she scales the like edge of the roof while drinking vodka, and she she succeeds. Um, and then the very next scene, she gets shot. So that 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 whole last scene that we had was for nothing. Why? Because you have to pile out the runtime. I, I don't fucking know. This is Jason Blum. He makes great movies, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't fucking he? Oh god. Then the next kill is fucking uh I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, it's the gay Asian who uh earlier in the movie got. Told, like he got there to fucking uh, tell his father that he's gay so he did so then his conflict throughout the movie is basically or his truth or whatever is there he, he gets there again because it goes around in a circle I'm not going through all these fucking dares because they're just dumb as shit but it was his turn again and he gets dared to take his dad's gun and make him beg, and his dad is being a dumbass and saying, I'm not gonna beg, it's okay, what did we do to you, what's going on, I don't care, fuck this movie, god damn it. And then, another cop shoots the gay Asian character and that that's his death it's not even due to a it's not even really due to the fucking possession shit it's really not that's when fucking Marky storms off and, and goes somewhere else and then Lucy Hale and Tyler Posey go to this woman who unleashed the demon that is is like, the truth or dare demon. I'm just gonna call it the truth or dare demon, because I don't give a shit. I really don't. Like, this movie sucks so bad, I can't even do a proper review. This is like the Tana Turns 21 review. If it's a good movie, I could do a proper review and shit. This, I can- this is not a proper review, I'm telling you this. But, it, it's fucking- it, this is fucking bad. Now... They go to this woman who doesn't speak, and she writes down shit and tells the backstory of the demon and the, 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 the and tells them the only way to really like capture the demon is to 
cut off their tongue, say a ritual, and put it in this enclosed clay, like, jar. Why? That is dumb as fuck, but okay. <sighs> oh, fuck, dude. This is, this is a bad movie. This is, I don't recommend this. But, I digress. Cause then, then we just get to where fucking... God damn... Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh, Lucy Hale and Tyler Posey. They go back to the house, and it's Marky's turn. So, basically, Lucy Hale earlier in the movie said that that the reason her that like Marky's dad killed himself is because Marky's dad sit there and got drunk and forced himself onto Lucy Hale and then Lucy Hale got away and said that he deserved to die and that's why it happened because everything deserves a convoluted reason in this movie and it's so stupid. Just like in this movie, I didn't even mention halfway through the movie that we think they're playing regular truth or dare. No, they're playing two truths in one dare. So if you say two truths, you have to pick, pick dare after. Or you don't get to pick, you, the only thing you can pick is dare, and then you can pick truths again after somebody picks dare. It's fucking dumb. Like, so then... Marky's watching a video of her dad making food for her, and then it starts getting all fucking Among Us sus and photoshoppy, and he t tells Marky to get his gun and shoot herself. She doesn't, because this movie doesn't have the balls, so they, they don't do it, um, but... Fucking Tyler Posey and and Lucy Hill get there to have sex because they have sexual tension and it it's it's not a fucking graphic scene because this is a PG-13. But I do want to say that Lucy Hale does look like a fucking like stick. Like I'm not even joking. But like. So that that's a conflict, and then Tyler Posey gets gets uh, dared to to ask uh, who he loves more, Marky or Lucy Hale, and he says Marky because fucking plot. And then they go and get the Sean guy who started all this. Told him he has to cut out his tongue and go to the, the fucking ritual place and cut out his tongue and do the like ritual and fucking. Uh, put it in a clay pot and he starts doing it but then he dies because the fucking truth or dare demon kills him and then Tyler Posey's turn is next and he doesn't do his dare so he dies and then then we get to the fucking end now I'm gonna preference this this is the worst fucking in like one of the worst fucking endings like, this is in-game level ending of bad. So, they have no way to fix this. So, instead of doing the right thing and just, like, just playing the game until they die, because at that point, they just, that's, just do that at that point. Because <sighs> you have no other fucking way to do it, because the person that... The only person that could stop it, Sean, that was supposed to do the fucking cut out the tongue, put it in the click pot, is dead. It, and he, he can't fucking do that anymore. So they decide, you know what, we're going to trick the system. We're going to make a YouTube video, and we're going to give everybody the truth of their demon. Yay! Fuck this movie. I hope it dies in a fire. Fucking zero out of fucking five. Fuck it. I, I, this is the... One of the worst fucking movies I've seen. End game levels are bad. I spit on the grave levels are bad. Fucking bad. It's awful. Fucking awful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching my fucking pain. <sighs> God 
fucking damn it. Hopefully, the next movie I review won't be a garbage fire. Peace.